not some of the stuff I didn't, you know, haven't been able to go. But uh, I heard there's like a really good, there's really good movies out there. So if you guys could go, I think uh, this week is the last week, right? Yeah. So if you're hearing this Friday and the Sunday night is the Sunday is the best because they have beer garden, they have all this crazy shit going on. Uh, and uh, actually, Latino Film Festival was actually showing uh, Mi Vida Loca mm -hmm. as a uh, anniversary. Oh, yeah, and, they're, and they're gonna have a, a just like a, some of the cast yeah. there, right? Yeah, that's cool. At, uh, at Bread and Salt down in Barrio Logan. Very nice. So, I mean, if you guys, I know this is probably gonna come out late, but. It should be a good event. It should be, um, and I'm glad that uh, Digital Gym is uh, utilizing yeah. that part of the. My buddy Christian, he's up. been doing that this whole time. Yeah, he's like man. A big, uh, big supporter. So shout out to him. Yeah, man. Big. Hey, he shit. He made he made me cry with that <laughs> Valentine. So I mean, shout out to him. He he's a great guy. I met him before, so uh, you know. Hopefully he does more. Pro so hopefully we do more projects with him. Yeah, for sure. Let's drop the mic and rude behavior. Do 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 do, do some great stuff with him. So yeah. my news. That's all right. <laughs> Emma. Um. Well, speaking of events, there's uh the Bernie Sanders rally coming Ooh, yes, on. There is true. on Friday, March twenty second. So if you happen to hear this, you can make Waterfront make it. Park. Waterfront Park, Park at five I think around five but they let I'm sure it's gonna be packed mm. is it uh, are they is he running Democrat this yeah. he's running Democrat but he at first he's like a, like a liberal liberal yeah or it's independent independent, independent sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. independent I was like, liberal. Um, yeah and there was like a big yeah. issue with him that he's uh, originally was independent in the re-election for um, before he got he, before he started to run for uh, president, that uh, now he has to he changed it to Democrat, and people are like, "Oh, you can't be two, <laughs> you can only be one." Like it, they have a bit major issue with that. I'm just like, so is he's this? is he running on a pose or is he running? No, there's oh. like a. Like, like 90, a lot 90 of, something There's like a lot of Running candidates Already But he's the favorite To win the candidacy For a Democrat Or is there somebody else Yeah there's like A handful of people Like Their favorite than, Their favorite over him Not over him mm -hmm. But they, they're But there's like, a lot of There's a lot of competition Yes well, that, ma that makes it But for, if you yeah. ask me I feel like he is One of the top running yeah. ones Yeah because I, I heard he he raised over like five million, right? Like in like ten, yeah, in like, in, like a matter of hours. Yeah, to like run his own campaign as mm -hmm. an independent. I'm like, why the fuck would you want to join the Democrat Party at this point? Like, uh, he they put the, like his explanation was that it's simply just easier. Well, that is true. And overall, to be put as Democrat, and so he just had to do it. Fuck. It's kind of like the lesser evil. You know, mm, I don't know, man. Those, those, those <laughs> He's guys. like, if I want to get this, you know, this spot in the White House, I gotta go over here. I'm not gonna those make Democrats, it over here. Bro. Those Democrats sometimes disappoint me and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's politicians for you. Fahrenheit, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Eleven nine. That's what a fucking my what are my reps? The reps from like <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I keep fucking spoiling shit. I'm not so no sorry. not today not today in a past episode. It was like I think two episodes ago. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, so that was very very good movie. It's a really good movie. It's well done. Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael Moore. Moore. I don't know how. Like I said on the show, I have no idea how he does that. How he edits that. It's just insane. How fluid it is. It's fucking insane. Because that's all put together. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was one of his lesser, well-received movies. I mean, uh, is it? I, I thought it was. I, I don't. I, what I from what I read. It, it, I never heard I read. anything about it, it until I saw it on video. It, yeah, it's the most. Like I, I had never heard of it until like one of my friends was talking about it. I just feel like people that have money try to bury it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking like, um, fucking but they've Wall been, Street Democrats, bro. <laughs> yeah. They've they've been trying to silence that dude since he did Bowling for Columbine, which mm -hmm. was nearly 20 and years ago. He did that Rage Against the Machine video. Yeah. Sleep found by the <laughs> Michael Moore is a man. 
Shout out to him. Shout out to him. And he's from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> is he? He's from Flint, right? Yeah. Is is that why he uh, he felt the need to do that? I, I don't think, think so. that's why he felt the need. <laughs> I mean, like anybody, yeah. anybody yeah. with a fucking conscious like would want to. But still, I think that that, that would be know. more. Of like, an, yeah. Like a, a, and then a pressing a, a, a issue. Person, yeah. 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 Being inclined you know? to, to do like, that. Like, holy shit, how can you like do this more to of a my reason, people? I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Is that all? I mean, I have other stuff. All right, let's get the fuck okay. out of there. Uh, this is a new section. Uh, okay, so he's going to be in San Diego March 22nd, LA March 23rd. San Francisco, March 24th, so if anybody... If you're in those areas and you're in the area, yeah. bro, go support Bernie Sanders. The uh, man to tell me to drop yes. the mic sent you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't really watch cable TV anymore. Like, I don't... I just do the streaming services yeah. and all that. Um, but I read that uh, there's going to be a new host for the NBC's late night show or... Talk show. Is that the who who does it now? Um, Jimmy Fallon. No, Jimmy. He does the Tonight Show. Oh, okay. So, uh, Lily Singh, uh, NBC's new late night host. She's an Indian Canadian YouTuber and bisexual. Um, she just made the announcement on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Um, her show is going to be called A Little Late with Lily Singh. And her show will replace Last Call with Carson Daly. So, it's supposed about to be <laughs> breaking barriers, being openly bisexual. Mm-hmm. Um, she's an Indian Canadian woman, and there's not very many uh, talk show late night, especially late night. It's always women, especially being a wom- woman. Woman, yeah. Yeah, I think I've only seen women do talk shows on like streaming services. Like I really, it's rare that I've seen something like what's her name on uh, or CNN. just yeah. daytime, yeah. daytime, like Oprah, yeah. Oprah, yeah. Oprah yeah. Yeah. Shit. You get one. So I never had heard about her. Like I've never heard her name. I she's a YouTuber. I've never seen any of her videos. So I kind of went and like on her channel and looked at her videos and stuff. She seems pretty cool. She's definitely that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say like typical YouTuber that's like ah in your face like all over the place, but mm-hmm. like, she really <laughs> is like that. Yes, <laughs> she really is like that. But it kind of like works for her. Like she, I I don't know. I wasn't like. I wonder the transition. From right, YouTube that's what I'm saying. To, like because like, uh, I wasn't sold on like oh uh, the, her videos are not, it's not something that I can watch yeah. for ten minutes. Like it's just not my yeah. thing. It, it could be a hit or miss. Especially like that that's that's the thing again, um, I was discussing with somebody about like the influence of uh, social media mm-hmm. and how like if you get that many followers, like you get something on prime time. TV. She's a YouTuber like, and she got uh, this. That's crazy. Like, like damn, I'm gonna stop my YouTube channel, make every place Jimmy Fallon and well, shit. Like, everyone gets I mean it seems like everyone's getting a check from YouTube now. Well, you have to like you have to realize like where we are where we are in the digital age. I feel like social like the social platforms and YouTube have given um, this like opportunity to for regular people to become famous, mm-hmm. and this is a prime like uh, example of that. Is you can now alter reality yeah. and do and, and, and be what you want and just using these normal everyday things and getting your foot in the door into Hollywood and the, you yeah. know like uh, what was that um, the babysitter they had a couple of YouTubers in there that uh, mm. they were acting and they got them clearly just yeah. from YouTube it's insane God damn. you know so I like batch and mm-hmm. yeah so supposedly she says she's going to be producing the show as well. So wow. Part you teach her on that too. So hopefully it works out for her. That's cool. Um, so another thing, it's not really something I would recommend because I haven't watched it because it hasn't came out yet, but I'll talk about it. Um, this show called The Act. Um, it will premiere March 22nd on Hulu, which for us will be tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, uh, March 20th, sorry. Uh, it's a true crime show that follows the story of Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee Blanchard, um, starting Joey King and Pat- Patricia Arquette. 
It's based off of the document, the HBO documentary called Mommy Dead and Dearest. I don't know if you guys watched that. I haven't seen it. So it's, it follows this girl, Gypsy Rose, that was just her whole life. She was sick and doctors didn't know what was wrong with her. Uh, turns out the mom was just making her sick Whoa. to keep her oh, yeah. to keep her controlled. Just um, to like keep, a lifetime you know. movie. It was, yeah. It's like a story in every <laughs> lifetime movie. So uh, the documentary shows how this girl she um, got a boyfriend, and the boyfriend and her killed the mom, basically. Dang. So they made the Hulu made a show about that story. And this that is a true friend. story. This is a true story. Yes. Oh my, that's gonna be the docu you, you can find the Mommy D Dead and Dearest on HBO, mm -hmm. which was came out 2017. I just I just got HBO for uh, not, uh, for the, the seven day free trial. So. so you should watch that one because yeah, I'm gonna watch as much as I like, can on HBO right now. That mom. So, uh, I got the the seven day trial, the free trial. One. Actually, I got the 30 day on Amazon Prime and uh, Hulu. For 30 days, so I'm like, I'm enjoying every. I might just There's end so up much. fucking signing up for Hulu, yeah. man. Yeah. So I left. Do Netflix. you have Spotify? I do actually. Then you get Hulu for free because that's a new thing now. No way. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, call the legend. Be right So if you like, if you go to your Spotify account, yeah. like the actual like website, mm -hmm. not like on your app. Yeah, like the and then page. and you look like oh you know try your new Hulu subscription or whatever and it'll direct you to like sign up on there. Is that that bad? Though? For free if you pay for Spotify, which I do, and now I get Hulu for free. That's a that's a good deal. Yeah, yeah. I get it for a dollar ninety nine cents. There was there, no no um uh, Hulu? Like, oh, there, there was like a um, a deal that was going on for like oh, Black two Friday, weeks or right? yeah the Black Friday deal. It's like so is that like forever? Like, like, like that's your payment it, that you that's can? for a year at least. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if they're gonna you know after the year they're gonna redo it or they're, they're probably gonna, gonna charge you the like, normal price. That's, normal that's price. what uh, that's what I did for Spotify. But I'll just sign up again. Like, I'll uh, just resign up on Black Friday. The next year, they paid like what thirty bucks, and it like gave me a year. Like that was like an old, old deal. That is right. a deal because it's a uh, nine ninety nine a month. So, I got lucky. I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. I get lucky with these deals, and then Amazon Prime has some good shit too. Oh yeah, they do. So I've been checking that out. I've been going back and forth. Prime has a lot of good old shit. Yeah. That like stuff yeah. that you can't even find on video. Like you can't find hard copies. They'll put it up on there. It's insane. And just I'm just amazed by by the stuff they have. And Hulu too. Like there's some movies that I've been like looking for, <laughs> and they have them on Hulu. But um, I was just like, dude, like punks. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Yes. Uh, oh man. Uh, with this that um, um, oh, I forget her name, but the point is, it's a '90s movie, and I haven't seen it in forever. And I fucking found it on Hulu, and I was like, "Oh fuck, who is this shit?" Dude? Yeah. But there's some stuff that I missed from Netflix. But I left Netflix because I was like, "It's." I have, I really don't watch Netflix. That much. And they're raising their prices. Yeah, I'm like, every like three months now. I'm like, dude. I used to pay like I used to like pay a hundred for a year and it was fine, but then now they're raising prices. I'm like, God. I'm paying fifteen ninety nine a month now. Holy God. shit! Because I was like, fuck, I got a four K TV. I might as well pay for the ultra that, that ultra four K HD version yeah. of what I'm watching. Does it look different? can tell sure do you, do, do you sure. <laughs> sure it does it's not on the side. do you have the cable i have the um like the 4k cable because there's a 4k cable you didn't um, know that i have a, i have like the audio optical thing mm -hmm. and i don't know man yeah you need to get the cable 4K. Well, i got the uh, i got the new xbox so I'm you gotta get the cable that's why i got the xbox so i was like but so I got the yeah. Xbox because <laughs> i had the regular you know, xbox one and then i was like i might as well get the that's xbox one X. oh because that's, that's true 4K, apparently, in uh, video games, which uh, Red Dead does look better. It does. It does make a difference on 4K. I need that cable now. Another 20 bucks. Just, <laughs> I don't hate to pull the bust your bubble there, you know, I'm just mm. saying. Damn, bust it. Damn, we're working. Heel turns, heel turns. 
Is that the um, yeah? I have one more. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll do. Killing it. I'll do. I'll do a cool one that you.